today's video we're going to look at what is industrial cracking, thermal cracking and catalytic cracking, and finally we'll look at an exam style question. So what is cracking? Well in our previous video about fractional distillation, we discussed how different fractions can be made from the distillation of crude oil. And we discussed how the naphtha fraction was one of the most useful as it can be used in petrol or gasoline. Now, in general, the shorter chain fractions are more useful, and the shortest chains, those with a carbon chain length of less than 5, are actually gases. Now, as our shorter chain fractions are more useful, they're more in demand, and therefore have a higher economic value. They're worth more. Our longer chain hydrocarbons, which aren't as in demand, therefore have a lesser economic value. So in order to sort of either boost our profits or do something with the long chain hydrocarbons that we don't really have that much of a use for, we can break the long chain hydrocarbons down into smaller chains. And this is done through a process called cracking. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at two different methods of cracking. We're going to look at thermal and then catalytic cracking. So first, let's look at thermal cracking. Well, thermal cracking is just as the name sounds. It uses heat to break down the molecules. We use a high pressure of around 7,000 pascals and a temperature of between 700 and 1,200 degrees Kelvin. In this process, the carbon bonds, well, carbon to carbon bonds are broken homolytically. And what that means is that one electron from, well, there's two electrons in our covalent bond and one electron will go to each of the species we produce. We produce two short chain free radicals. Now, each of these free radicals will have an unpaired electron because as I said, each gets one electron. And it's this unpaired electron that makes them these really reactive free radicals. Now, as you can see here, I've shown our free radicals produced. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.